All right, so this is going to be a pretty quick video of how you can use FL Studio as a VST uh, inside of another DAW, like in this case Logic. But uh, I'm pretty sure you can do it in all major DAWs and probably even MPC software and machine. So all you got to do is just create a regular, you know, track. In this, in Logic, is called an instrument track where you can uh, load up a VST. So you're going to come down to you to your AU instruments. And if you have installed the latest version of FL, which I think we're now on 20.54 maybe, something like that, you know, just Google it and make sure uh, you have that version installed that has the VST capability. So you're going to, I'm going to open up a stereo version of it. You can also have 16 tracks if you want to have all your FL sounds or 16 different FL channels coming out on 16 different channels in Logic, but I'm gonna do the stereo version now. It works fine for me So I'm gonna click this little icon right here and FL opens up So now you can just load up a song that you already been working on or I'm just gonna come and open up an empty template And let's uh, let's go to song mode Put a, put a pattern in there. Let's do eight bars. And now I can just um, start working as usual in FL. So when I'm on the FL screen, it only plays in FL and Logic, it's not gonna do anything. But if I press play when I'm in Logic, let's say I'm working on a, a part of the song, let's create that MIDI region. Uh, let's keep a MIDI region there so we know we have something on this track. We can also name it. Let's say we, you know, we have a song and I wanna work on something right here, so if I'm in Logic and I press play, click over to FL, it's going to start playing at bar 13. But if I'm in FL and I press play, it plays from the beginning or wherever you have, you know, that set to. But yeah, so I usually keep the Logic window like this so I can just switch between the windows like this. I'm sure there's a maybe like a key command on, on Apple or whatever. Uh, what is a command tab or something? Nah, that doesn't make sense. So I think this is the quickest way to just jump between uh, for now. So the great thing about this um, is that you know we can we can continue to build our beat in um, let's just get a little simple pattern going I don't know why I'm using those things. I never do that. So let, let me come in here. All right, cool, good enough. So let's say we want to do something in Logic now. I can just come here and you know open up. Uh, oh man, come on. You know, let's open up a different 
And this is actually one of the major reasons why I'm happy I can use Logic, other than that Logic is, you know, much better for, for editing audio. You know, I prefer it when I really want to mix something properly over FL. And, um, you know, mainly, you know, Alchemy, I think it has a lot of dope sounds and, I you know, I like working with it. So, you know, you can just grab... So now... Just record it. Let's just copy that over. So now we got Alchemy playing with. Um, Apple Studio, which is dope to me. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I wanted to show you this. It's really cool. Um, so, let's say you wanna, let's say you, you know, you 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 made a little arrange or whatever in FL. Like, let's say you. Let's say you started a beat before an FL, so I'm just going to come here and uh, quickly um, render as audio clip. I don't know why it jumps over like that. So now we have an audio clip right here in FL, pattern one, and I could just go to recent files, drag that into logic, and boom, you know, I don't even need FL anymore, I can mute that. So I really love that. That's I've been using like that with the MPC software and machine where you could just like drop drag and drop. I wish you could um I wish there was a drag and drop feature from Logic, but you know, it's really quick just to, you know, if you want to bounce something from Logic, it's really quick to just uh you know bounce it, you know put it on your, save it on your desktop or something, and then you can drag it from the desktop into FL. So yeah, it's pretty cool. There's a bunch of other things. I'm gonna get more into detail with it later and actually make a, make a beat and show you, you know, a couple of different things. But, you know, that's, that's the main thing why I like how to, um, how to use it. You can use the different VSTs. Uh, I wish there was a way for, um, having MIDI like playing a VST from FL um, or I guess the other way around like if I if I could you know use the piano roll in FL and trigger a sound in Logic while I was making it because now you know let's say I um, let's say we create another uh, Let's just create another pattern, and we call this um, melody. Let me put that in there. I wish I could, like, you know, use this in FL. Let's put a sound on it. Uh, All right, why am I not hearing this right now? Oh, yeah. The uh, reason I'm not hearing it is because I muted FL and Logic. So Logic is the, you know, the main door when you work like this. FL is just like any VST that you may open up like... Um, 
you know, let's say you just open up a Nexus or whatever, it's going to treat it just like that. You know, I wish I could just um, play stuff in, um, in FL and that it would uh, record the MIDI to Logic, but, you know, that I could, let, let's say that I had a sound in, in Alchemy that I really like, and I wanna, but I want to play around with it here, um, or if I have, like, some MIDI that I already created, So what I was saying was that, let's say that I had something going on here, but I wanted it to, I wanted it to trigger a sound in Alchemy and Logic. Um, let's move this up a little bit so I can more easily jump between them like this. Um, yeah, so if I had a, if I had a Alchemy loaded up which I do here, I wish I could, you know, let, let's make a new one. So we have an empty track with Alchemy here. I wish I could trigger that from FL, but with the MIDI that I draw in, in the piano roll in FL, but maybe there is a way, you know, if you guys know anything, let me know. Um, but the way I do it now is just, I just come to uh, file, uh, export as MIDI file, and you just, uh, I just usually save it to my desktop. Uh, and now I got it somewhere here and I can just drag it into Logic. And it's gonna ask me if I want the tempo information. Uh, oh yeah, that's another thing. I usually, I usually say no, but that's another thing. The tempo in Logic is gonna control FL. So now I got the MIDI there, by the way. So if I wanna try that with that sound, So, you know, it's a couple of extra steps, but, uh, you know, it's not that bad. But, yeah, so the BPM and Logic is controlling FL. Even though Logic is going to stay on whatever your, your default BPM is, no matter what we put in Logic, if we go to like 174, it's still going to stay at 140, but it's going to play at 174. It's kind of weird. Uh, I don't know how they couldn't sync that up, but what I, what I do is I usually, whenever I figure out what tempo I want to use in Logic, I usually just go in and FL and, you know, put it there too, just for peace of mind. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for now. I'm going to make another video later on where, you know, I actually, actually work with it and actually make a beat and uh, probably show you a couple of other features that I figure out. So, uh, yeah, really cool. I'm happy they finally, um, finally implemented the VST feature for FL. All right, so just one more thing that I forgot to tell you guys that uh, when you save, you got to save in Logic separately and in FL separately. Logic or whatever host you're using is not gonna like save everything that you did in FL. So what I would do is if I'm working on a song and I have, you know, I did some stuff in FL on, on it as well. Then what I would do is just come and do save as let's do it on the desktop keep it simple um you know i create a folder um on my desktop and i'll save the logic project there 
Then I'm going to come to FL and I'm going to do save as and I'm going to go to my desktop and I'll find that one. And I'm going to create a folder in there. Just name it FL Studio, whatever you want to name it. I usually try to name it the same as the, the actual original beat that I started in Logic. If I do it the other way around, that I start a beat in FL, I usually save the project, um, the Logic folder inside of the FL folder. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter what you name it, but, you know, it's always good to, to stay organized. So, and then that's it. So then the next time you open it up, um, everything that you did in FL and Logic is going to sync up.